Hey, just so you are aware before your weekend with sun. He has been getting rashes from whatever diapers you are using over there. I use the Walmart brand of diapers and his skin does well with them. I can send some with him if you'd like. That's a lie. I use the best diapers on the market for my baby. I'm not putting some shitty off-brand diaper on him. I don't care what diapers you use. I was just making you aware that he's been coming home with a pretty severe diaper rash every time. You might want to change the diapers you use. Don't try to blame your inability to care for son properly on me. I have never seen a rash on him. Okay. Just know I have been documenting the rashes. Do what is have best for the baby. Have you also been documenting the ways that you have ruined son's life too? And how you've destroyed his family and future for selfish reasons? I don't understand how the woman I love is capable of the hatred and malice she has been displaying lately. It truly is not possible for her to actually love my son like she has always claimed she does. If she truly loved him, she would do everything possible to repair what she has broken. It is not possible for her to give him the attention he so desperately needs and promote the best life for him. She has never cared, and I cannot be convinced otherwise when she keeps me from him. He cries desperately for me every time my weekend is over. The only way to accurately describe the pain is an up and down roller coaster. I am brought to life when my son is here and left broken and bleeding when he leaves. I can't even call him when he is with her because she won't allow it. And it breaks my heart to my baby boy is eating so good. I had him eating everything that I was eating today, and he was so, so happy. He definitely loves food. What did he have today? He ate hot dogs and some potato chips for lunch, just like his daddy. Yum. I'm sure you know, but just make sure you're cutting food like hot dogs into appropriate sizes so he doesn't choke. He doesn't need a cut. I gave him the whole hot dog and he chewed it up really good. Please do not do that. It is so easy for babies to choke on food that shape and it is difficult clearing it from their airways. I am sitting right next to him. I would never let my son get hurt. I know exactly what he is capable of. I don't need some piss poor excuse of a mother giving me parenting tips. Here's a tip for you. You were supposed to drop the baby off 20 minutes ago. Where are you? We are running late. Had issues leaving the house. Is everything okay? He had a fit when I put him in his car seat. He did not want to leave me. It broke my heart buckling him up and making him go. He clearly doesn't want to go back. He is eight months old. Most babies don't like the car seat at that age. You keep telling yourself that. I think we both know the real reason. Regardless, there is no reason for you to be minutes late for drop-off when you are only minutes from my house. That isn't your house. That's your parents' house. You have nothing of your own. You're basically a giant child. It breaks my very soul to lose you and the life we had planned for our child. I had already bought a ring for you and everything. I was just waiting for the perfect time to give it to you. But I have no choice now but to move on. It takes two to tango and I was willing to dance with you for the long haul. But you decided to give up on your family and run away to hide with your family. Please do not message me unless it is in direct reference to our son. Thank you. I guess the real question you must have is if I would take you back after all that you have done. If you would be willing to apologize and admit you were at fault in all of this, I would still happily get down on one knee for you. No thank you. If this sounds like a man you couldn't make yourself love for the happiness of your son, you're a bigger bitch than I ever expected.
I want to have my phone call with my son. I have called three times now, and you have failed to answer. You are in direct violation of our court order, and I will happily file contempt of court due to this. This is alienation, and it is wrong. Prime example of why you should not have primary custody. You are too selfish and immature to be a parent. You called three times in the past five minutes. I was in the shower. Give me a minute to get dressed, and I will call you back. I don't want to hear your excuses, woman. I want to speak to my son. Okay, I am dressed now. I can call you back. It's too late now. I no longer have time to speak. I will keep this documented though to show to the judge your inability to co-parent effectively. Okay, it's literally only been 10 minutes since the first call. But that's fine. For your visitation this weekend, please do not forget to give the baby his amoxicillin. He gets this much twice a day. Leave me the fuck alone, I know how to take care of my son. If he were with me, he wouldn't be sick all of the time like he is with you. He has an ear infection. There isn't anything anyone could have done to prevent that. I am about to fast time so I can see how he's doing. Why did you hang up on me? The baby seemed hysterical. Is everything okay? He's fine. He just threw up a little bit is all. No dumbass, like throw up. Now leave Please me keep alone. keep me updated on how he is doing. If he needs to go to the doctor, I will make an appointment. You lost the right to speak to me like we are friends when you ruined our family. Get lost, bish. Please keep me updated on the baby. Is he at least keeping fluids down? If not, and you decide to take him to urgent care or there, you need to let me know. I don't need to do sheet. I am his father and can handle it on my own. Yes, you are his father, but according to our order, you have no rights to medical decision making. So please inform me if he needs to be seen. That's bullshit and the doctor would never even know. Once again, is the baby at least keeping fluids down? He has never puked before. Katie, leave me the fuck alone. I have got this. Stop acting like you are such an expert. I really do not need to have my intelligence insulted by a fake and liar such as yourself. I have not Just insulted stop. you. This has nothing to do with your ego, just the health of our child. All I am asking is and for I you to keep you drop me